Wow, it's almost like we should have been looking at these deck lists a week ago. What is up, guys? I'm for you. We're going to be doing OCG Thursday Spooky Edition. Not really. There's been a couple of interesting things kind of come up in the OCG. We're going to have Vendreds. We have the second place YOT zombie deck list for you guys. And we have an interesting Mech Knight, whatever the hell was going on. So the first list we're going to be starting off here is the second place YOT deck list. Um, from, I believe, Taiwan. This event took place like a week and a half ago. Really haven't had the chance to sit down and look through it yet. But it is, of course, zombies. And with the new support coming out, and of course, uh, Beldrock being one of the most broken cards to kind of ever grace the game. And people are wondering why he's a solid $2 card and complaining about it. But here you are. We've reached an interesting place for zombies. I also like the fact that this is playing Advent Slayer just because it's restricted to double fucking zombies to make it as a generic monster. And then also the fact you can send a zombie for him from the deck. Like, hey, it's good value. So let's dig on into this bad boy. So we have, of course, two copies of Ash Blossom, two copies of Doom King Ballard Rock. And then, of course, we have two copies of Effect Veil. Vale. Nothing too special going on there. Uh, two copies of Ghost Spell, two copies of Glow Up Bloom, being able to bloom out Bell Drock, it's pretty good. One copy of Glow Bulb, still Neo Fiber is one of the best options that every deck has in the OCG. Two copies of Goizuki, you don't want to kind of overload yourself with Goiz. Of course, Triple Max C, triple copies of Mizuki himself. And of course, Triple Necro World Banshee. I'm still not a big fan of this, but I mean, when 95% of the decks in the meta are somewhat affected by zombie world for combo ability and things like that you may as well start taking more advantage of having a constant field spell on the field now two copies of psychic tracker one wheeler just being able to spot summon and produce psychic monsters is pretty good i heard that boral sword is really good uh, and then we have Triple Solitaire, Triple Unizombie, and one Vampire Fraulein. I didn't actually expect to see Fraulein show up in any deck list anytime soon, but this is actually a really cool addition to the archetype. Uh, and of course, Triple Call by the Grave, one Foolish Burial, one copy of Feather Duster, and of course, triple copies of Zombie World itself. Down here in the extra deck, we have two Vampire Suckers, one Link Karibo, one Unicorn, one Phoenix, one Needle Fiber, one Boral Sword, one Advendred Savior, one Shooting Riser Dragon, one Shogun Saga, one Omega, one Natria Beast, one Dawn Dragster, two Quandax, and of course one Boral Savage Dragon. So if this card is single summon, you can equip one Link Monster from a graveyard to this card, and if you do, place one Boral Counter on this card equal to the number of that card's Link rating. This guy gains half the attack of the monster equipped to this, and then when your opponent activates a card or quick effect, you can remove one Boral Counter from this card to negate that activation. Of course, you can only use that once per turn, because if we allowed you to use that more than once per turn, it'd absolutely be broken. Of course, triple Prankatops, triple copies of Illusion Dragon and Hosmi. I've talked about this card before a little bit. A lot of people were like, oh, I don't like it. It's actually pretty good. So if your opponent swaps some Link Monster, you can swap some in this card. You can draw cards from that Link Monster's rating, or up to the number of Link Monsters your opponent controls, plus one. If you do shuffle cards from your deck into your deck, equal to the number of Link Monsters your opponent controls. So he does net you an additional uh, searching, uh, which is pretty good. And then a uh, quick effect, discard one card to negate the activation of an opponent's card or effect um, that targets a monster and destroy it. Like, literally, 2400 on a body. Like, this card's really good. Two copies of Herald of the Abyss, one copy of Mind Control, two copies of Twin Twisters, one Zombie Necronize, two Evenly, and of course, one copy of Return of the Zombies. I honestly think that, like, seeing this deck kind of show up now is really, really good. Um, especially since we just now got the zombie archetype coming into the TCG. A lot of people are kind of looking at ways to do this. Once again, more options available to you if you want to explore the zombie structure decks. Now, we have something interesting. Now, the TCG does not have... Mr. Dijin, and you can thank Patty Hobbs for helping get this card banned. Having monsters on the field in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! that do not allow your opponent to engage in the game is a no-fly zone. Alright, like, let's be absolutely real. And to see this deck 
kind of doing. Something is really cool. Uh, we've also got the inclusion of extra Foolish Barrel now. I mean, paying half your life points to kind of set up a gin that your opponent can't do anything with uh, is pretty good. Obviously, you pay half, drop the Herald, get the free search. Um, it's kind of costly to see that they've made ritual searching so expensive, per se, but it's not necessarily a bad round of support. So, onwards and upwards. We have two copies of Ash Blossom, one Destrudo, one copy of Mr. Jin himself, one Globe Bloom, one Globe Bulb, triple copies of Max C, two copies of Mizuki, then one Shinobi Necro. If you control another zombie monster, oh, if another zombie monster special summon from a graveyard, this card's on the field, you get to draw a card and then discard one card. If this card is banished from a graveyard to activate a card effect, or by card effect, you can special summon this card but banish it when it leaves the field. Ooh. One of the, the more interesting support cards to kind of come out in recent years for zombies. Then, of course, triple Lone Fire Blossom, aka Solitaire. Triple copies of Unizombie. One copy of Core. One copy of Hound. One copy of Revenants. And, of course, one copy of Strigis, along with Triple Slayers. Then we have True Called by the Grave. One extra Foolish Barrel. One Foolish Barrel itself. One Feather Duster. One Monster Reborn. One One for One. Triple copies pre prep, one prep, one copy of Revendred Evolution, and of course, triple copies of Origin. In the extra deck, we have one Vampire Sucker, one Link Rebo, one Unicorn, two copies of Needle Fiber, one Boral Sword, one Avendred Savior, one Shooting Riser Dragon, one Omega, two Herald of the Arclight, one copy of Cyber's Quantum Dragon, one Crystal Wing, one Coral Dragon, and one Boral Savage Dragon. Anybody else see this? Like, Boral Savage is pretty good. Like, I didn't actually think that, like, this card would take off the way that it did. But this card has been such a big help to a lot of the decks out there. I mean, the card's absolutely degenerate in its own right. But you need a little bit of degeneracy in your day. And the last deck I have for you guys today. This is Crusadia, Mech Knight. I don't know what's going on here. So I kind of saw this list come across and I was like... Oh, wow, it's Crusadia. It's like, I'm kind of curious to see what's going on here. And then I started looking a little bit more, and I was like, oh, no, the Mech Knights are in here. What better way to tell your opponent, I'm going second, than to splash two, oh, two <laughs> engines together in its, its own right? And especially when your opponent doesn't have a means to kind of out this. I mean, the Mech Knights all capitalize off themselves. I mean, purples and blues are going to get you things. And plus, like, your opponent's probably going to try to avoid some column placements as soon as they see that you're playing Crusadia. But, that's what the, uh, the Mech Knights are for. You punish your opponent for trying to avoid the Crusadia chain while you're placing things in other columns. Really cheesy, right? So, this is Crusadia Mech Knight. So, of course, we have two copies of Ash Blossom, two copies of Arborea, one copy of, of course, Crusadia Draco, one copy of Maximus, triple copies of Effect Failure, one Fairy Tale Snow, one Two Turtles, one Ghost Bell, one Globe Bulb, one copy of Phantasme, of course, triple Maxi, and then the Mech Knights. We have triple Blue, one Indigo, triple Purple Nightfall, one copy of Red Moon, one Yellow Star, triple copies of Sky Blaster, and of course, one normal Avram. Then we have one Instant Fusion, two Mind Control, one World Legacy Succession, triple World Legacy Memory, and of course, triple Impermanence, and one copy of World Legacy Secrets. All right, extra deck. We have one copy of our boy Security Dragon, one Nin Nin, one copy of Spectrum Supreme, two Morning Star. One Link Kribo, one Link Spider, one Unicorn, one Phoenix, one Needle Fiber, one copy of Magius, one Equimax, one Boral Sword, one Boral Load, and of course, 1,000 Eyes Restrict. Side deck, we have two Battle Fader, two copies of Phantasme, triple copies of Inspector Border, two copies of Sphere Mode, one Monster Reborn, two MST, and triple Red Reboot. Like I said, this is conceptually a very interesting concept. I definitely like where this Duelist was trying to go with this deck. And I would love to see something like this in the TCG. Will we actually see it in the TCG? Probably not. We're, we're too far down our own paradigm of trying to play Kaijus and things like that than anything else. So guys, 
this wraps up OCG Thursday. Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. Of course, tomorrow is the best damn day of the week on this channel. This is the day that we whip out stops. We go straight into Market Watch, and we have a very interesting flow of card prices to talk about, hopefully. All right, guys. I am out. The ride never, well, truly ends. Thank you, patrons. Without you guys, I don't know what I'd be wearing in these videos. I might be a truffle shuffle and all over again. Guys, please also check out Vancol40 for some awesome banger content. Some other interesting stuff you might find up here on the left or in the description as well. Thanks for watching.